Well, but I, I can't quite believe that game has finished goalless. Have you got an explanation? It was incredible. Lost for words. I really am. Can't question the, the work ethic, the desire, the determination. But that, you know, we, we always say we're the managers, we'll take full responsibility. But that's one result that won't be taken responsibility for. Um, it's, it's a game we, we was we was unplayable with 11 men. Um, as soon as they go down to 10 men, for some reason, we start to rush things. Execution, the final third again, following on from Saturday, not good enough. Decision making in the final third. But ultimately, you know, people will say I'm harsh, but you have to win them games. Like we said Saturday, you have to win your home games or try to. If you want to be in and around it come the end of the season, they're the games you've got to win, end of. The volume of chances created, and, and I mean, I think we hit the woodwork five times tonight. It was astonishing at times, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe when I calmed down, because it's quite emotional when you've been through that. Um, constantly off your seat, trying to pass information, trying to stay positive. Uh, but the more we, the longer the game went on, the more mistakes we made, and the decision making was poor. And listen, let's let's not take nothing away from Alfredson. They've defended like lions tonight. Um, how I've been managing 14 years, I've never been involved in a game of football like that in my life, and I hope never to be in one of them again. Um, because if I was to say that if it was a boxing match, it'd have been stopped after 10 seconds, and people might laugh at me, but. You've got to give credit where credit's due. Alfredson have defended like Lions, as I've just touched on, um, and, and, and the way they've celebrated a draw, playing with 10 men uh, against 11 men with 10 men for 70 minutes, is it's hard enough to win a game of football with 11 men, let alone 10, and, and they'll think that point's a win for them today. So just look at an extra layer of ruthlessness from your squad. You've touched on it. We hit the bar five times. Um, we've had four clears off the line. We've had 30-plus chances, 20 on target, relentless with corners. Good delivery into the box. You know, I'm just lost for words. Eh? It is one of them. It's like you, you, you want to be angry at them because they haven't got the result, but you kind of you just say to yourself, you know, the amount of good opportunities they created. They should have won more than one football match tonight. Yeah, you try and incorporate and implement a, 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 an identity um, into what you want to be, and, and for a neutral or for a support that will believe in what we're trying to do here, they'll go away and say, and you know, on another day it could have been ten. That's that's no. That, it could have been ten, um, but it weren't to be. And I can only stand there. I'm sure I'll come down off my horse in the next 15 minutes. But devastated is probably the wrong word. Disappointed, yeah. But ultimately, it's it's a performance that deserves three points. And 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 like I say, uh, I'll try and be as positive as I can. We've got a big game Saturday. We've got to train Thursday. I've not been in the change room. Don't want to go in the change room. Got nothing to say to them in terms of. They must know. Uh, you see, your centre forwards at the bar three times, your central midfielders at the bar, we've hit the post, your left backs had 10 chances in the game. There's not much to add to it. It's, it's just like you say, a disappointing result. A couple of players to ask about. Danny Greenfield came into the side, with his first star for the club tonight, and also later on, Charlie Watt. What, what an impact he had. He looks some player for his age. Yeah, and people will be questioning why Charlie's not starting. and. What's the, you know, Joe, Wheat, Joe Wheatley's done absolutely nothing wrong. Joe's had two great games, but we, we, we've, we've, we've said that to carry four central midfielders like we have, you know, we're going to have to try and rotate them. I don't like using the word rotation because ultimately you pick your best team, but picking out that four has, has, has proven difficult. You know, Jamie Chandler will be disappointed. Um, but Danny came on Saturday, he injected some energy and some direction into the game. He, he, he travels well with the ball. Um, Rama is the first one to be criticised from people in and around the club, from us, from the players, from the supporters, but I thought it was outstanding today. He did exactly what we told him to do before the game. We dropped him back in, asked him to compete. He's won first contact for, you know, he's, he's applied himself really well. He's travelled with the ball, he's at the bar. Tough positions, but subs, we'll be looking at that today and going, we've not, you know, we've played free, we've drawn free. I want my chance, Gaffer, and, and, and it's something to look upon. And just finally, a little blot on the copybook tonight with Mark Anderson having to go off. It looked like he just hurt his groin, was it? Do you know anything more about that? Quad. Strain with a quad. You know, Mark, again, he's you know performed really well. Mm. Um, again, people will question Mark as a central midfielder. We've seen something in Mark that when he's on, when we're on top of a game, he's, 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 there's nobody better. End of the way he utilises the ball. It's disappointing because off sets, um, you know, he does get us playing. Um, you've seen tonight for 60, 70 minutes again. 90% pass completion, maybe. Um, he does try. He's one of the midfielders that will try the hard pass. Forced it a couple of times first half, but 
in terms of, of what we've looked like in the central areas, we've looked good and, and, and you touched on how many chances we've created today. We must have created 10 in the first 20 minutes with, against 11 men. And now, like you say, even at nil-nil, when the, the, the man sent off, we were still scratching our head then. But, you know, we've got to pick ourselves up. Um, people will say to me when I go in the bar now, someone's on the on the end of a good hiding. We could quite easily have lost that game today as well. That's the alarming side of it, because you're that on the front foot and you're desperate to get the three points. You know, big Matt Reed wins a flick on, they're in, and Max makes a save. So, you know, fortunate not to lose the game. I'm not saying they've had, I think they've had one, two shots the whole game. But, you know, learning curve, we, we, we've got to be careful moving forward. And I think the chairman touched on a Saturday. If you can't win them, then don't lose them. So we're free unbeaten. Um, big game Saturday, and, and we've got to try and turn these draws into wins.